So check this out, everybody. Last night, I was just chilling. I was about to go to sleep. I wanted to check my phone one more time. I opened the YouTube app randomly. I don't even know why, I guess out of habit. And the very first video that I got recommended was this video right here. I also got recommended this video, but we're not gonna talk about that one right now. This video right here actually just gave me a jolt of energy because I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is AI, right? Like there's no way that this is real. And I wanna talk about it because this is YouTube history. Like whether you like it or not, this is actually a crazy day on YouTube. Apparently he lost over 250 pounds, that is insane. I remember the very first time I actually reacted to anything about Nick was in a Me Canyon video. And I vividly remember talking about his health. Look, I'm gonna keep it real with you all. I don't know anything about this guy. I don't watch food eating videos. He's actually a really entertaining guy. But damn, that's a lot of fucking McDonald's. Like I ate four oily ass pieces of Popeye's chicken earlier and I'm gonna feel that grease in my butthole later. Like imagine this. Yeah, a lot of people are just worried about his health. A lot of people don't want him to get his health messed up. That's good. That's good. That's what I like to see. Yeah, did he really take care of his health? I mean, I don't know. Like a lot of people want to see him do shit like that. And that's sad because because like content shouldn't be on top of your health. That's just me being 100%. This is not for like, this is not me trying to make a joke or anything because this shit is not a joke. From one content creator to another, you're probably never gonna see this, but like nothing should be in the way of your health. Like you don't wanna get sick. You really don't wanna get sick because once you get sick, there's no just like, oh, I was just kidding. I was just eating for entertainment purposes. Your body doesn't give a about that. Your body is just like, okay, you messed me up this bad. Now these are the consequences, so you gotta look after yourself. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have said that already. But yeah, just really prioritize your health over anything else. Like I said in that video almost two years ago, I wasn't really familiar. I don't like watching people eat. I don't know why it doesn't entertain me. It kind of makes me feel weird because I can hear like the slurping noises. It's kind of like when people are like, why do you watch people play video games? I'm like, I can't watch people eat because I love eating, I enjoy eating. I can't watch other people eat for some reason, especially because the noises. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. The thing that I wanted to mention was that I was sleepy, I was about to go to sleep. I saw this and I was like, there's no way this is real. So I clicked on the video. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping. So he was talking about how this has all been one big social experiment for eight years and he became this character that he was playing for eight years and now he's back to who he really is. And honestly, I was just impressed with the weight loss. Like a little fun fact about me, I really enjoy people working out. I love to learn about health and fitness, the body, the mind. I just love watching and hearing people's mentalities of how they approach their diet and fitness. And he started off this video talking about like some big social experiment. I'm surprised that there wasn't like some final boss music in the background. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. I felt the ground shaking from like some final boss aura just like entering my atmosphere. That's how it felt. But then he had this big panda mask and I was like, okay, there's no way this is real. People consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain. I'm not even gonna lie to you all. I wish I had my genuine reaction when he took that panda mask off because I was watching it on my phone and when he did that, I was just like, yeah! It was like midnight too. And I was just looking at my phone and I was like, ain't no way! It's so impressive. Like it's very, very difficult to lose not even just a hundred, but 200 pounds. It's so hard to stay consistent on your diet, on your exercise, your mentality. Like sometimes you just wake up and then you're like, fuck it. And then you just give in to the cravings that you have or you don't have like all the energy in the world and you don't wanna work out or you don't wanna do this or do that. So you just revert to old habits. For him to lose 100, no, 250 pounds. So yeah, I was just watching through this video, honestly amazed and I was very impressed. I didn't have an opinion on Nikocado Avocado either way, aside from like the health issues. And then I watched the rest of the video because I just wanted to see if he was gonna talk about like his weight loss journey or how he was able to get all the weight off or his mentality about just everything going on and 
finally making that change. I know he said it was like one big social experiment. What was trying to be achieved here besides us being sheep that consume anything, like anything we're told to consume? I didn't understand that part because like I said, I'm not really familiar with his content, but just from watching that video, I wanted to know, and I don't even know what that is. That does not look good to me. My asshole would sound like a machine gun after I ate that because it looks like something that wouldn't sit right in my stomach. But he actually didn't really go into any specifics about like the lifestyle change or the dieting and stuff like that. But he mentioned that he uploaded a second video, so I checked that one out as well. So in this video, he ends up eating too. I don't know what this one is specifically. I don't think that looks good either. <laughs> Please also comment if there's any suggestions you might have for me. Since it's been... I haven't made a video for like two years. Yeah. So it's been a long time. So when I heard that he actually hasn't uploaded in over two years, I had to check his channel and he was still uploading videos. So those were from 2022, maybe 2021. And he was just losing all the weight in the meantime and getting down to the level he's at right now, which is insane because as a content creator, to have that many videos over the course of two years, Bro, that is nuts. That's big squirrely nuts. Like, I can't believe it. I still don't believe it. And one of the main reasons why I'm making this video is because I just want to say that he has the potential to do something really good here with his audience. I know that he likes doing these eating videos and that's cool. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I personally don't like watching people eat, but a ton of people do. And everybody loves food. Like I said, I love eating food. I just don't like watching people eat food. But he has the potential to do something really good here. Because he doesn't have to make a shift in his content. But it would be so cool to learn how he did it. Tips, tricks, just dieting advice, exercise advice. Like, how many days a week did you exercise? What was your caloric deficit? Like, how many calories were you eating per day? And how much weight did you lose from month to month? Did you plateau? Like, did you have to adjust things? Did you get a trainer? I've seen so many comments when I was looking, talking about he went on Ozempic, or he got surgery, or where's his loose skin? And honestly, I was looking for the loose skin too. I'm not gonna lie, because when you lose a ton of weight, the loose skin is inevitable. You can't escape that. Your skin isn't just gonna shrink with your body. It might, like, it is gonna like tighten up. It's not gonna be like completely loose skin if you lose a ton of weight, but especially like on your chest and your stomach and your arms, you're gonna see a lot of loose skin. I don't know about legs specifically, but I know that you're gonna lose it a lot like right here in this area and then like where your uh, abdominal area is, there's gonna be like a lot of loose skin, especially if you're losing over 100 plus pounds. Bro lost 250 plus pounds and he looks like he's been that weight forever. Like he looked like he never gained all that weight. And I'm not gonna lie to you, like just to see him lose all this weight, it was inspiring to me as well. Like it motivated the shit out of me because I was like, bro, if he could do it, I could do it too. Like that's why he has the potential to just change a lot of people's mentalities because everybody's gonna be like, bro, if he could do it, I could do it. Why do I kind of want to watch this one now? <laughs> Right now. 859 pounds. Ouch! 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 A cheese fry, a loaded fry, and some chinos. Spicy version. On your butt. She's ridiculous. You're my gain weight. 288.4 pounds. I gained eight pounds. You're fat. You're literally 290. This man's 290 pounds. And he, and he, look at him. He has the uncle haircut. Oh, he looks so fat. All right, I don't know what this is, but Takis are fire. I will say, I love Takis. I love the Holy Ghost out of Takis. I don't eat them anymore because I'm trying to be better about not eating chips and candy because those are my two weaknesses. But yeah, man, look at this. Look at the last video that he uploaded and then just look at this video. It's insane. It doesn't even seem like it's the same person. Like, I'm still thinking like these are two completely different people, but it's the same dude. And I said it like four or five times. I'm going to be annoying and I'm gonna say it again. I really think he has the potential to inspire a lot of people because he could make content where he does these mukbangs, right? But he also in between still lives that healthy lifestyle 
and doesn't increase the frequency of him doing all these eating challenges and just all the things that he used to do, it would be cool to see like his journey of how he lost all the weight and just all the tips and the mentality that he went through along the way. And I wonder if he recorded anything or he just did it in silence. And it would be cool. It would be cool for him to do a new series. I would definitely tune into those videos. I promise you, I would definitely love to see those types of videos. I wonder if he's gonna even mention anything like that again. Hopefully he does. A lot of comments that I saw though still talked about like him getting surgery, Ozempic, uh, it's not real. I think that's one that I've seen that people are running with is that this is an old video and he's still the same weight that he was before, but this is an old video and he planned to like record this video and release it now in order to like trick people. But I mean, we can all speculate as much as we want. He said he didn't upload in two years and he's just been like in the background the whole time. But I saw a comment of saying that he was in videos with other people and there's no way that that could have been over two years ago because it just doesn't make sense. Like the timelines aren't matching. I don't know anything like that, okay? Like I play video games. That's all I love to do. That's my area of expertise. And this is just something that is crazy. And I wanted to talk about it because I couldn't believe my eyes. And I still can't believe my eyes. I'm looking at him right now. I'm looking at jawline, like crispy jawline. Like you could sharpen a knife on that thing, it's so sharp. And I was just, wow. I'm still wow. I'm, I'm very wow. But the last thing I'll say about this whole thing is that it's cool that he went in this direction as opposed to the direction a lot of people were watching his content go. Like he was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And there was even that thing that I saw in the old clip where he had that thing on his face. I don't even know what that was, but obviously he was at unhealthy weight and eating an ungodly amount of unhealthy food, like processed food, oily, high fat foods. And that is so harsh on your whole body, on your whole entire well-being. Like I'm pretty sure he felt like crap. I'm pretty sure that he was not happy being at that size and just all the stuff he was putting into his body. So it's cool that he went in that direction, this direction that he's in right now, as opposed to just like getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it could have been a tragic ending, but I'm very curious to see what exactly is going to happen next. I want to see the series that I mentioned, <laughs> the, the fitness stuff. that will be so cool. It'd be so cool to like, just for him to talk about that and what it was because I'll be like, oh wow, that's really impressive because 250 plus pounds is not easy at all. That is a weight that people don't even touch in their entire lifetimes. But yeah, I just want to talk about this. Um, I wanna read the comments about what you all have to say in the comment section down below. Um, if you all are on your own journeys uh, with like diet and health and fitness, good luck to you. I mentioned earlier in the year that I was actually trying to be in the best shape of my life, but I didn't want to do it like how I did it in 2019, where I lost so much weight so fast that I ended up bouncing back and gaining all that weight back. COVID didn't help, like being um, like in the quarantine didn't help and just uh, not being able to go anywhere, that didn't help because I would just, you know, eat my feelings away. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been losing weight and I will update you all in the future. Don't forget that. I will update you guys sometime this year, but I will say that I'm losing it at a healthier pace than I did when I lost all the weight back then. So I'm much more happier this time. It's not stressful. I don't feel completely depleted of anything. And yeah, I will update you all on that. But to anybody who's going through their own journeys, good luck, stay consistent and one day at a time.